Welcome everyone. Today we are going to find out how hydrogen peroxides affects our blood. I notice a lot of people talking about hydrogen peroxide. Many people using it for mouthwash, but it is not the reason I started to look into it. In human, each white cell has an area that called peroxism. Peroxisms house some 60 enzymes involved in metabolic processes such as bile acid, cholesterol and plasma ligand biosynthesis as well as B oxidation. Peroxidensum produces hydrogen peroxide as a byproduct of its normal function. Given that it is already in our blood, I wondered what is going to happen to our blood after consumption of hydrogen peroxides. Right after waking up, before any food or water intake, I took the blood sample and put it under the microscope. This is my blood zoomed 200 times. Blood is looking average today. It is reasonably thin, but we still see islands of glued red blood cells. It is still far from an ideal condition though. Here's 800 zoom. I still can see individual red blood cells. I am here covering a larger area just to show the blood condition. In my previous videos I showed you how a hinocyte looks like. Can you spot it in this view? Let's zoom to 2000 times. In this view we can observe the real size of the chains and how they are grouped together. They are quite long. Let's try to move them. I have noticed something that I haven't seen before. Blood flows as a river. In previous experiment, red blood cells didn't flow together. I am happy how it flows. Sugar is very important. So this is my sugar before taking hydrogen peroxide. So I bought 3% hydrogen peroxide in a brown bottle and dropped 20 drops into 100 milliliters of water. Ideally, I should have waited for a food grade one. So 40 minutes passed and another hole in a finger. I took the blood sample and put it under the microscope. What you see now is blood zoomed 200 times. We can see that blood condition hasn't changed. There is nothing noticeable for me. Let's have a closer look zooming to 800. Definitely there is no noticeable change. I'm covering larger area and we still can see long chains of red blood cells that look like a worm. It, looks, it also looks like the space between them slightly increase. And now 2000 times. Indeed there is no impact on blood whatsoever. I think it is because the main function of hydrogen peroxide is to fight the virus and bacteria. Just to break into it. Let's see if flow is improved. It seems that flow slightly improved. Red blood cells are elastic and moving well. This is my sugar level. Notice sugar level dropped slightly. At first I couldn't believe. This is the first product that reduced the sugar level. You are now looking at the cholesterol. Notice when I try to move a rephrasize they are going around it. Most of us do not have an ideal vein conditions. They are quite clotted. Now add to it a big cholesterol. This will stop the blood flow and the chances of stroke or heart attack is increasing. Similar thing can happen if blood is too thick. Thumbs up if you intake hydrogen peroxide. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I want you to leave in the comments below your experience with hydrogen peroxide. If you are interested how food affecting our blood, please subscribe to Hematic Food Channel. If you believe that this information can help someone, Please share it.